So in this video, I'm going to be giving you a beginner's guide on rogue benders. Let's get right into it. Okay, so when you first do get into the game, you have to choose whether you're a male or a female, and then you enter in your name. After that happens, you'll be spawned in one of four nations. The Earth Nation, the Air Nation, the Fire Nation, or the Water Nation. So as you can see here, I'm currently in the Fire Nation, also known as the Fire Union in this game. So when you do spawn in, it will tell you to go meditate on one of these mats. So what these mats do give whenever you meditate is it tells you your wisdom, we are bending, your gender, your energy, the amount of money you have, your family, and your trait. So in order to meditate, you just press click to meditate here and there will be certain buttons that pop up. You just have to spam them. There's a V here, you spam that, and you just wait a bit. And the next one comes, so let's do a bit of this real quick. I'll show you what happens whenever you do get experience from this meditation. And then as you can see, a sort of sparkly thing went on in my head. That basically means that you did gain points from the meditation. So basically what meditation does give is it gives more chi and stamina, but it also gives you wisdom, which what wisdom is used for is learning more bending abilities from your trainers. So since this game did re-release after a long break as well, there are a lot of codes that they have as well. So I'm going to give you guys the first one right here. So it's Y-U-A-N-Z exclamation point. And I've already used this one, but you can just press enter and it should give you 500 ones. And then the second one as well here is element reroll exclamation point. I'm not going to enter this one because I do like fire, but it lets you reroll your elements in case you don't like the element that you spawned in with. And this next code as well is sub to dry elements exclamation point. This one also gives you an element reroll as well. Just a sort of another one in case the element that you do roll is not the one you want. You want to go for another element as well. Now it is very important to build your stamina and your wisdom as they are both needed to learn new abilities when it comes to bending. Okay, now you might be wondering how to build yen or money. For a lot of different bendings, it does show you sort of like a quest or a quest giver that you need to find after you did the meditating quest along with the storyline or just sort of the tutorial quest as well. What you do want to do in terms of getting yen or money, in my opinion, the best tip or the first tip that I have for you is to come to the Fire Nation or Fire Union, regardless of what element you are, and grind this quest. This has to be the easiest quest and the fastest way to get yen as well. And the reason why I'm saying that is because other quest takers will make you go across the map or 2,000 meters or 3,000 meters, which will take too long and it'll only give you the same amount that this NPC gives you as well. In which case, this NPC only makes you go up this sort of volcano with a tiny bit of parkour and get a panda lily. So for you to talk to this NPC and they ask you if you would like to find the rare panda lily, you say yes, say thank you. So right here is your current quest. You just want to climb up here. It's very easy to do, very fast and easy quest. So let's get here to the top of the volcano real quick. Yeah, I usually just go here from the side as well. And then I either like just do a long jump here as well. And you can do a long jump by just holding spacebar for longer than timing your jumps off of that. And then once you climb up here is, as you can see, it's just all scattered around this volcano. There's one over here and there's one over here as well. So you just hold E for this and it does give you a flower. And then all you have to do is you have to get back to this sort of quest giver as well. Talk to her. And she says, oh, thank you so much. You're the best. And it did give you some more again as well. This is the best way and the fastest way to do it, as I believe the cooldown is like five or ten seconds to get this quest again. It is repeatable and it is the best way to get yen in this game. So what I would recommend is coming here, training your meditation, talking to this NPC, getting a ton of yen, getting, I'd say, at least 320 chi for meditation and at least, what is it here, like 800, around 800 wisdom as well, and then starting to go to your trainers. So for example, for fire, the first trainer would be right here. I've already learned everything from him. So he's like all the moves I know you can find explore other firebending trainers like me. So yeah, you just talk to him. I believe it's the first bending trainer is the same for every village. They're just within your village and it'll actually show you where to go. Um, it'll say like what the trainer is and that sort of thing. So you just go talk to them and you get your first bending abilities as well. So yes, there are different type trainers. So there's a first firebending trainer, there's a second firebending trainer and a third firebending trainer. So yeah. The best thing to do is go into the first firebending trainer or for whichever element you are. And then I will also link the Trello for this game in the description as well, which will tell you the location for all the other trainers as well. Now we're going to get into armor as well. So for armor, it really does vary based on the nation. It's usually in the capital or in the village near the capital for each nation. For Fire Union, I know it's specifically in the capital here. So we're just going to head on over there real quick. Okay, so yeah, we're almost here. As you can see right here, if you just run... You'll see these two right here. So there's a Fire Nation student clothes, which costs 3,000 yen. And then there's a Fire Nation V1 clothes. Probably the best thing you want to do is start out with the V1 clothes. And there also is weapons here as well, like the Hook Sword, different masks. I like the Fox mask. I'm actually going to buy that one right now. And yeah, so that's basically how you start out with that as well. 
Now, one more thing about stamina as well, is that whenever your stamina does reach to zero, your character becomes all sweaty and you can only walk, but your stamina does regen very quickly. So as you can see here, it goes five per second, and it really does regen very quickly as well. So don't worry about that as well. I'd say probably the thing to worry the most about would probably be hunger, as it does severely diminish your stamina regen and also your health regen as well. Now, as you can see here, there's a sort of bar that's popping up here as well. This is your hunger bar. So what will happen after a while of playing is that your character sort of will start to run out of hunger. And that basically means that he can't really regen HP or stamina as well. So what you want to do every time your hunger bar is going low is you want to go to the nearest cabbage merchant. Now, at first, it will seem slow whenever going from place to place because you won't have any mobility abilities. But you will get that later on on your second trainer, I believe, for most bendings. I am currently fire and I do have this fire jet here. It really does help with transportation. But as you can see, it does burn my stamina as well, which is why it's really important to those stamina as well. Okay, now that we're here with the cabbage merchant, you just talk to him and he's asking if you'd like to buy a cabbage for 25 yen and you just say yes and he'll give you a cabbage. So once you get this cabbage as well, you just press it. You eat it and your hunger bar should go away for the time being. As for the last thing in this video, I'm going to be showing you what these sort of different things mean. So your family really does depend. If you have a lot of common families in this game, they don't really give buffs. But if you have a rare family, which, will, which should also be in a Trello as well, it'll give you certain different buffs. And then as for the traits here, as you can see, I'm currently the fighter trait. So as you can guess, it probably gives me more damage in combat as well. But there are a lot of different traits. There's poor, weak. Talented is probably the best one as it lets you learn at a much faster rate when it comes to meditating. So it'll help you way faster with progression and getting all your bending moves as well. And then after you do get all your abilities from your third bending trainer as well, what I would recommend doing is going to sub bending or sub abilities as well. Since those are in these games as well, I believe they just added blood bending as well. If you guys do have any questions, just make sure to ask me in the comments below. And I also do have the Trello link in the description as well. See you guys later. Peace.